Look at you. All tied up pretty as a present. I think it's time to unwrap you. Hey kid, how'd you like to make some quick cash? Evidently you aren't familiar with the no touching rule. <laughs> the mouthpiece for the Colombians, huh? Yup. And he's in town. Yep. Interesting. Yep. Hello everyone, it is the Almighty Jeff and this is episode 15 of Saints Row. Last time we finished off our second Hitman list by taking out those two targets. We cleared the Carnalis out of the Black Bottom Refinery by tacking it up. Apparently that's enough to kick them out of the territory this big, but whatever. We then completed some racing activities up at, uh, that's the wrong one, um, up in the Ultor Dome and throughout all the West Side Rollers territories. And we finished up with Best Laid Plans, I believe is the name of the mission, where we joined Johnny as we stormed a place in Prawn Court, where we believe that Tanya and I think Tony is what his name is, were being held up. And even though I think we totally should have been able to uh, kill them and take them out of commission, uh, the game storyline decided otherwise. And uh, Johnny got captured, basically got shot in the leg and is being held hostage by the VKs while we made a narrow escape. So today we are going to be starting our chop shop. So this is our second set of this. This is also for the Vice Kings. It's up in Fillmore. So let's go ahead and pick it up. Supply and demand. Man, hold on for a second, man. Perfect. That shit is fucking perfect. Check it out, player. Would you believe that four niggas got shot in that car? <laughs> that ride looks like I jacked it right off the lot. My work's in fucking demand, son. And with you jacking some cars for me, we could both be making some shit. What you say? I say okay. So we want the Caballero and the Quota for our first set. Now, unfortunately, I'd forgotten that we were doing the chop shop in this episode and that the Quota was one of the first vehicles to have. Otherwise, I would have just picked it up. First of all, we're going for the Caballero. So we'll pick it up on the hood. I think it's a relatively popular car as it is, but I know that it is actually also a vice, not a, um, a Carnalis gang vehicle. So I'm going to sort of make my way down to Carnalis territory, which unfortunately is quite far for us now that we've been... Uh, dealing with them so much and um, we'll probably start some aggro see if I can get them to spawn in. Uh, if I find one that is actually driven by a normal person along the way, I'll pick that up instead. Uh, but nevertheless, I'll see you when we find one. Alright guys, well I've actually found one to, um, oh no you don't, no you don't, no you don't, no you don't, get out of that bloody car. Uh, one just sort of showed up of its own accord, so very good, I did try and actually get a, a Carnalis like fight and I ended up finding one whole person and then no one else will spawn in and um, I did also end up picking up a call that Black Bottom was under attack so we may end up dealing with that later but for now I'm going to drop this back off at the chop shop all right guys we're just approaching the chop shop you chop shop swing around this way okay boom this one done excellent Okay, and then next up we've got the quota. So, uh, again, this is one of the ones that can appear if you block off traffic. Um, but, yeah, should, I think they're more popular in the Northern Island, I heard. Maybe a chance that I might have to make it daytime to do so, because uh, apparently they, they don't spawn too late. Um, but, regardless, I'll see you when we find one. I think you better pay up. Did you think we wouldn't find you? All right, guys, managed to grab ourselves a quarter. It wasn't too difficult at all to do. Um, I have actually got the <laughs> the guys who we took the, the loan from um, after me at the moment. Doesn't seem to be anything particularly um, useful. Not useful, but uh, interesting, I, should, I suppose, is the word. So I'm thinking I might just go and pay that off, to be honest. Um, but we are done with our first two targets. Now, if this was just the usual 30 minutes or around that mark video then that'll be the only time we're doing the episode however now i have decided to increase the length of all my videos and uh, we will actually be doing a second set of those um in a short time we're just going to do a few missions first 
So we're going to pop by the loan shark and get that paid off. And then we're going to head to this Vice King's Stronghold. Um, I don't imagine there'll be anything interested about me paying that off. It's always worth a look, but there is no cars around that could just take me. Um, so I will either see you with the loan shark if there is anything interesting that happens once we pay them. Or I will see you at the stronghold. Alright folks, we are here. Uh, nothing interesting happened when I paid off the loan. It was literally just took my money from me and said you paid off your loan. So, probably not going to include that. It would be a bland, a blandon, abandoned police station. The kings are keeping some of our boys locked up at the old police station. I want you to lead the jailbreak. Okay. Kick some VK ass. I've got no problem with that. Let's use our new SMG. Yeah, you. Very stormy outside. Is it now? I don't recall. Well, I just noticed that our homie's health is actually in the uh, top corner. And it was not his health I seem to need to worry about. Man, well, ain't doing too good. It wasn't, anyway. Hey, come on. Here's off, come on. Uh, how do I recruit? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, why not? Let's have a party. Where are we going? Straight to the top? Okay, is that it? Are we done? We are. And we got Shington. Awesome. Radio. Happy with that. Okay, dokie. Right, so. Make our way out again. Right, oh, went too far. Um, hmm. uh, we are going to be picking up the next two missions. Um, the only reason we're doing two is because it's a back to back mission. So, similar ish, I suppose, to the. Vice Kings 1, although they are both pretty much proper missions. Um, it's for the West Side Rollers. Now, if you remember the last time we left off, um, Price and Sharp seemed to pick up on the fact that Lynn was a double agent and was working with us. So I imagine there's going to be some consequences to that, unfortunately. Um, I am, first of all, going to pop back to the crib, sort out my money and my ammo and stuff like that, because obviously it's a long mission ahead. So I will see you guys when we're ready to start the mission. Alright guys, we are back at the Saint's Church. We're going to pick up the next mission. Let's hope we can look after Lynn. I don't think it's looking good. Merry Christmas, Mr. Sharp. What's up, player? Oh, I don't like that. You're doing a hell of a job when it comes to the rollers. Keep it up. Oh, thank you. That Lynn? Hey, meet me at the pool hall. The rollers are getting into something big. Don't let me hold you up. You know how the lady hates to be kept waiting. Good girl. Go fuck yourself. Temper. Don't temper, slap Lynn. Girl. Look at you. All tied up pretty as a present. I think it's time to unwrap you. Creep. Right. Uh, ooh. Well, of course, we don't know that, do we? It's uh, just from Lynn's perspective. So, so we can get to her in time to liberation. Yeah, this is a two-parter, so once we finish this mission, it will immediately lead into the next one. So, actually, after this two-parter and the stronghold that follows it, um, we are not going to be doing dealing with the rules for quite some time, because we'll be quite close to the end of the story, and still a ways away from finishing the Carnalis and the Vice Kings, and I want to finish all three gangs pretty much back-to-back, -back. so I'm going to prioritise uh, those guys. Yeah. It's looking rather worrisome. 
Don't want to get caught. I don't know, well, Lynn's already been caught, but... Don't have anything happening. Excuse me, hooks. You no, no! Whoa! No Molotovs. Just all you've got. Surely you can do better. Too easy. Lights out. Oh dear. Well, at least we got to her. Should have done a quick survey of the room there, dude. Sounds like the cops are coming, Mr. Sharp. Let's take our guest for a ride, shall we? Ooh. Well, that's liberation, and somehow, despite getting captured, we earned ourselves the Ultor Dome. Breaking up is hard to do. Hey, I think we stopped moving. You listening? You even alive? Say something! Ow! I'll take that as a yes. Where the fuck's my lighter? What are you doing driving Lynn's ride, Mr. Sharp? I'm glad you could make it, Donnie. There's something I want you to see. Stay calm. We're gonna get out of this. Lynn? Donnie, listen to me! I swear to God! Oh dear. Take a deep breath and count to ten, Donnie. Count to ten?! You just shot my girl! Yes, it's tragic. He's... Could he's something else and he's sharp. Why did... Why did you... Lynn was working with the Saints. Now, would you give me a hand? This car is heavy. Donnie, where are you going? Children. <laughs> you don't even need Donnie. He does it all himself. Honestly, as I've learned quite recently, pushing a car, even in neutral, is a lot harder than they make it look. <laughs> I, I think I found my lighter. <laughs> I assume from all the, all the times that I've seen this stuff. He said I was his girl. Every time I've seen anyone push a car in like a game or a TV show or a film or something, it always looks really easy. I consider myself to be quite strong, and um, yeah, it's not easy. And yeah, I just talked over a pretty significant point. Yeah, we came back up from the top. Lynn didn't. I'm afraid that is indeed the end of Lynn. She didn't make it out of there. Which is kind of weird, because, I mean, she was clearly alive when, um, when we opened the car. And we, we got, when we were in the car still, it, she wasn't killed by the bullet, but, um, player made it out, Lynn didn't. <laughs> so, but, you know, there's no point wondering about it. And now we've got to go stop sharp. I think the best way to do this... It's like that, personally. <laughs> and that's it, guys. And you know what? what's funny? Is the fact that, you know, I've decided that this time is uh, when I'm going to start doing the double-length episodes. That was the last thing that I originally had planned for this episode. I thought those two missions went on a lot longer than they did. And they didn't. So we were having a 15-minute episode <laughs> otherwise. Um... I think considering I would have done this if it was just the one part, I think I'm now going to go ahead and return to Black Bottom and get the uh, the pushback dealt with, so I'll see when we get there. Alright guys, we're in Black Bottom. And we're crashed into every sort of bloody cars in the way. Let's kick the, uh, the canalis out of here once and for all. Um, how do we get upstairs? Ah. Oh! Oh! 
on some of the stairs in, wouldn't he? See if we can get them off from up here. Uh, I think that's it actually. I don't think we can actually hit any of the others. Okay. And the other two. Calm down, dude. Get in all that. <laughs> easy easy okay right so the next stop is to resume with the chop shop um so we're picking up our downtown one and the next one is the fbi now if you remember ages ago when uh, we were i think we were trying to get a and doing one of the assassination targets and i was like i'm gonna make my way up to level five and so i can keep an fbi specifically to do this uh, chop shop and then I didn't manage to do it because I ended up dying like seconds before I hit a forgive and forget and I was like oh it's okay I've got another drug trafficking lined up before that one because that drug trafficking was the one we did with um, Toby and against the Carnalis and we never ended up getting the FBI in the last one because it was a five star Carnalis notoriety and not a police one so we don't actually have an FBI so we've got to earn it the hard way so I am going to get five stars of police notoriety and get myself an FBI and I don't know whether to do it next to a forgive and forget or to do it next to the chop shop. I don't know which would be better. I'm assuming well it's play it safer. I suppose we'll do it next to forgive and forget. Um so I will see you guys once I manage to grab hold of five stars of police notoriety and safely acquire an FBI. Alright folks, we're getting there. We're at uh level four at the moment. Stay still, please. I can shoot you. Oh, miss, apparently. Got him. Okay, we're just skirting it. I feel, I feel like, I don't know if this is a validified thing, but I think blowing up the vehicles actually really increases the amount of uh, notoriety you get. Alright, five stars. Okie dokie. Okay, just gun down these guys so they don't take off again. Consider yourself and there we go! We have safely acquired ourselves an FBI. Excellent. Alrighty. Uh, we will go ahead and drop this off at the chop shop, so I'll see when we get there. Alright folks, here we are. Let's go ahead and drop it off. Boom. Excellent. And we're going to pick up our next one as well, which is the Keystone. But we also need a retro spoiler on that one, once we manage to track one down. And uh, no, obviously we are in the suburbs general area. And from what I'm aware, these are just a sort of fairly common vehicle. This really gives many hints as the best place to find it. Because apparently they're everywhere. And in my logic, or in my games anyway, um... That never seems to be the case. If it says that they're anywhere, they don't spawn anywhere. Um, but we will try our best. And hopefully it won't take too long until one comes along. So we'll see when we get one. Okay, guys. we finally got the bloody keystone to spawn in. Mother of God. You know how I said? I was just like... Because it, every guy says that these things spawn everywhere and they're a very common spawn. It took me forever to find them. Well, guess what? It bloody did. Kel surprise. Uh, yeah, I was driving around for ages, couldn't get anything. I must have looked through about 50 different guys to chop shops and everything like that. And every single one of them was just like, yeah, these guys spawn anywhere. Or they just said, just go and put it on your hood and go and find it. And I'm just like, okay, but work, because none of the buggers are spawning in. I think it's just me. Um, and I have also sort of quit and reloaded the game a couple of times as well. I don't know if that's made a difference. But, unless it's finally happened. Don't do that. So we're going to put on a retro spoiler. Okay, cool. And let's drop it back off at the shop shop. Thankfully it's just pretty much a straight shot. If we don't crash into the wall, that is. There is another thing I've been trying to keep an eye out for, uh, relating to the last mission that we did. 
because you remember how we picked up a phone number and then just have a homie chicken Ned. Well, after you do um, burying evidence, there is another number that you can call and unlock a homie. Um, and I want to do it the legit way, like I did with Chicken Ed, where I actually found the phone number. And you basically got to look out for a sign. It's usually in sort of the little, the bus stop boxes. It's usually an advertisement for an, a company called Eye for an Eye. So I'm going to try and keep an eye for those. Um, no pun intended. Uh, but we can do that whilst we're doing our next little activity, which is to pick up our next 10 CDs. Now we're going to stick on the Northern Island for the time being. And we're going to start off with number 11, which actually I think is the one that I was looking for last time. The one that was off the cliffs somewhere. Um, so I'm going to cut towards where the 11th CD is. Get my intel suggests it should be right out. Yep, there it is. My intel. As if it's not just a thing downloaded off the internet. But there we go. There's number 11. I knew there was one down here somewhere. I'm not chatting bollocks. Okay, still no sign of any of those eye for an eye things yet, but no problem. We've still got a while to go. So, number 12 and number 13 are pretty close together. Um, let's see, so I think we are making our way from here. Round about here. I think 12 is over here, 13 is over here. Let's go and grab them. Okay, 12 looks like it should be around here somewhere. Hopefully it's not down there. Um, or it might be on the other side. Oh, I think I found number 12. So it is actually, of course, in the actual area. 13, it looks like it's on the other side. So hopefully it shouldn't take as long to find it. The tag. Oh, there's the CD. And 14 even looks like it's um, around the same area too. Somewhere around here, actually. Um, hang on. No. Um, let's just see. Is it down there? Hopefully not. Surely, yep, there it is. Awesome. Okay, so for number 15, we are jumping up near the museum. Over here, I think. It looks like we're heading around this way. Ooh, 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 okay, okay. I finally found an eye for an eye poster. Jesus Christ. I don't know why they're so rare. We want to 555 5966. So. No. 555 five, 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 5966. You have reached I for an eye for new supply. The forces around us are keeping us busy and unable to answer the phone. After all, the land of the living and the realm of the dead are always connected. Should you experience a tragic loss, don't hesitate to call and we'll see how the spirits receive you. Okay. And with that, we get Zombie Lynn. Brains. So, um, yeah, well, you know what? Why don't we, uh, why don't we give her a bell? Um, oh, homies, yeah. Go Zombie Lynn. You can join us to collect some CDs. Why not? Trish Brains, indeed. Just don't eat my brains. Oh my god, that is a sick ride, this means. Uh, where are your clothes, Lynn? Oh, you're just about hanging in there. If 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 you are at all, I don't know. Um, but yeah, so there you go, the zombie Lynn. Starting off a tradition of just about every Saints Row... Well, actually, no, I don't think it was in Saints Row 4. Uh, definitely in Saints Row 1, 2, and 3. There's some zombie homie that you can call up of um, one of your crew members that doesn't make it through. But yeah, so obviously, for obvious reasons, that number doesn't work until Lynn's death. So, but yeah, that is the second and the last miscellaneous um, ah, here there is. See it. Uh, miscellaneous homie in the game. All the rest will unlock for completing activities or um, missions. 
Okay, so that's number 15. Number 16, it looks like it's not too far away either. Should just be around the corner, really. Are you crazy? Why are you on me? Hey, there is no law against uh, having zombie friends. There we go, found our, uh, our CD. That's nice. Get in there, guys, a little bit surely. Oh, okay, you have your fun then. Uh, number 17 is just over here, I think. Yeah, is that right? Should be around here, I think. Okay, let's see if we can find this relative ease. There we go. Run straight past it and around it and around it. <laughs> ah, classic comedy entertainment. And number 18, we actually ended up driving past, but um, I don't want to go off the, the numbers that the map is showing in case I get lost. I think this is the last one on the Northern Island. The 19 and 20 and obviously all the rest of them are all going to be back on the Southern Island. But hopefully this one shouldn't be too tricky. I feel like it's going to be down at the bottom, isn't it? Hmm. Where are you? Oh, there we go. Not too shabby. Okay, we are heading for number 19. Where is number 19? Number 19 is right about as far as actually, <laughs> weirdly enough, considering that we were with Lynn. It's actually the place where we died. Or, well, she died. Or nearabouts. So we're heading all the way down here. So we'll see when we get there. Ah, there it is. And the CD. So yeah, it was actually pretty close to um, where we got thrown off before. Um, I did retire Zombie Lynn. She looked like she needed a bit of beauty sleep. So uh, I let her go. Yes, of course. Puns. Um... And yeah, and finally, number 20 is just on the south side of the Ultor Dome. So we'll go and grab that, and then we'll call it a day in terms of those collectibles, but we still have a few more bits and pieces that I want to do before we end the episode completely. Uh, we're going to do an activity, proper one, and um, the roller stronghold that we unlocked. And then uh, the next mission for the Carnalis, and then we'll be wrapping up. Okay, why can I not make my way over here? I think we saw the CD, didn't we? Uh, when we were doing the demo derby and I had to avoid it. Am I getting mixed up with something else? Probably am. Uh, well, yep, yeah, there it is. And we unlocked uh, Man Up by Ghostface Killer. So there we go. Again, neither of which is any relevance to us because we can't play it or play it, um, but it's required for 100%, and even if it wasn't, it's a collectible, so I'm getting it because I'm, you know, I'm a psycho. Right, we are going to boot up Escort, that is the next one along for us, we're going to get to the one in Wardle Airport, which is against the Carnalis, so I'll see you down there. Right guys, we are here, usual level of business, so oh, looks like we're going inside. Let's do it. The no touching rule. Hey kid, how'd you like to make some quick cash? Evidently you aren't familiar with the no touching rule. <laughs> you do me a favor. I got a couple of high profile regulars who want a little more than a lap dance. Now normally they could go off to the VIP room, bust a nut and be on their way. But these guys have special tastes they like to keep um, private. Being caught with a hooker is bad enough. Being caught with a fat hooker is even worse. I got a girl waiting in a car out back. All you gotta do is pick up the John, give the two of them some privacy. Just make sure no one sees what's going on, alright? Okie dokie. She's not fat at all. Not that there's anything wrong with bigger women. I'd like to make this point I'm very well known. <laughs> and we'll leave it there. Okay, get in my friend. So... Obviously the first few levels are going to be very easy. It's just driving them around, making sure that we keep the 
the news vans or any private investigators of our case do any jobs that they require us to do, whether that's car stunts or dropping them off at a specific place. Um, but if, if anything I've had last time around with, the, with this activity is to show is that um, the first seven levels were all incredibly easy and then as soon as I got to level eight it was like, okay, we're back on camera, really easy time I'm having here. And um, no one's even near you, dude, chill. Um, yeah, it like ramped up like a hundred times. It was difficult. Come on, time was a ticking. That was worth it. Beep 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 beep. Always a pleasure. Sorry about your hair. Sorry about your hair. Okay, that's level one done. See you at level eight. All right, guys, we have done all seven levels. Um, I have only failed once so far, and that was in level seven the first time around, because I accidentally drove my car into a like one of the canals. So yeah. Anywho, um, yeah, I feel this one's been a bit trickier than the first one. Uh, they've been a bit more consistently difficult, I should say, all these levels. Like, it's not just like, oh, easy, easy, easy. Um, it's... okay, where are we going? Strip club, okay, just around the corner, that is actually really convenient. That's, uh, some good fortune. Not even wanting to take him to the other side of the bloody map, which half of them seem to want to do. It's half empty. Uh, but yeah, like, I feel like the first time oh, I did right. this activity, uh, there was like one to seven was all like really easy, and then level eight just suddenly sort of exploded in difficulty. This one's been a bit more challenging. It's the press. Some awkward requests in places where they can't really pull off. This guy is actually being quite favourable with me. Uh, hold up, hon. Let me show you something. Goddamn bottom feeder journalist scum! Yeah, very true. Ooh, use the cigarette lighter. Yeah, baby. Wow. Excuse me, hooks. No photos for you. If they take my picture, you're going down with me. Alright, dude, chill. Oh, I did it. I oh, only had two requests. I, love a I had three requests from some of the early ones. I'm recommending you to my wife. And we're done. Awesome, and we got the dress to kill. You've unlocked a new set of clothing. Sweet. Alright, that is not too shabby at all. Our activity done. I'm gonna save that just in case. So I'll have to do that again. So, next up, we are going to head for the Roller's Stronghold, which is just over here, so see when we get there. Okay, okay, we are here. Let's do it. Copperton Receiving Station. The Rollers have been taking a lot of interest in a receiving station in the truck yard. Go and check it out. But be careful. Who knows what they're up to? Who knows? Who knows indeed? Hold on to your position for three minutes. Okay. You're disturbing my slumber. This is going to bite me in the ass, isn't it? Oh, well, yeah, they seem to be leveling up of their own accord. <laughs> You and your crew are gonna do the who and the what now? You ain't doing shit. Stand behind this crate. <laughs> 
shit, where am I supposed to hide? You don't need to hide, just get out of here, then after you. Missed, man. Come on, guys, let's do this. Who do you think you are? You're quite finished. You're messing with my hidey hole. You just keep on walking like you don't even know what's going on. I imagine for the last minute it's going to be four stars. But I mean, I feel like I could just sort of stay here. <laughs> Can they get to me? Can't really, can they? You're gonna have the police play with them for a little bit. Put your hands above your head. What's the matter? <laughs> oh, uh, whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, wow, that is rigged. That is rigged. And a little safe spot, and he just decided to just. just <laughs> Why the hell's all that about, game? Uh oh, here we go. Okay. Alright, nearly there. Is it just going to give me a job after this, or is it literally just to hold the line for three minutes? Okay. Destroy the truck cap. And where might this trip can be? Ah. Oh. Oh, wait. Okay, we did it. <laughs> that was one weird ass mission. Like, the, the developers just like, we need another stronghold for the rollers. What do you want to do? And they just hold a spot for three minutes and then afterwards we'll... I don't know. You can blow up a truck. It's in the truckyard district, right? Yeah, that sounds about right. Okay, cool. <laughs> that was about it. Okay, well, we got it. That's all that matters. So, like I said, we are going to be doing the next mission for the Carnalis. So this is the first one that we have been doing whilst the gang is under new management. As last time we eliminated... Hector Lopez, so Angelo is um, now in charge. We still have Manuel, I, th I think was uh, sort of like the big brutish guy as well. And obviously there's the sort of, I mean we've sort of split up with the Colombians, or they've split up with the Colombians, or they may not have, yeah, I don't know. Um, but I think we're willing to make a deal with them. So let's get started. A Colombian connection. Well, here we go. This is so probably this is it. The mouthpiece for the Colombians, huh? Yep. And he's in town. Yep. Interesting. Yep. We've taken out one of the Carnalis's legs. We smoked this guy, and they're crippled for good. Yeah, and so are we. We kill Orejuela, and the Colombians will be all up our ass. Let's figure out what his game is first, and then we'll decide what to do. You know where he's at? Yeah, well, I'd start with the strip clubs. Cool. All right, man. Let's go buy this drug lord a lap dance. Okay, so we're making a deal. Eating Orejuela. Alright, let's go swing by the strip club and wait to see who shows up. Stick at Manuel at the strip club. When we get to Manuel, just let me do all the talking, alright? I'd hate for us to fuck things up with the Colombians because you said some crazy shit that pisses him off. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, I'm just a lot of one-liners and offensive bullshit, aren't I? That's, uh, that's the player. Hector taken out. His brother Angelo is probably calling the shots. Lucky for us, he doesn't have his shit together. It'll probably take him a while before he's got the crew organized enough to make a move on us. I mean, they try. I mean, they keep going for them bloody pushbacks. I swear they are the most keen to get back their territories than any other gang. I just had a call when I was doing the escort that they'd... Even when Angelo finally steps, he's gonna send Victor to do the job. Now I know you think you're all badass... Victor, not trust me. Manuel. Victor ain't no joke. You run into that asshole, you better make sure you got some serious backup. Okie dokie. Well, I feel like we're gonna end up dealing with him at some point. Um, but yeah, I got a call that they're actually going for Stoughton, which we did ages ago in a stronghold. 
But we've taken so many territories since then, and yet they are so keen to um, to grab onto their little territories. But yep, we're coming right back to where we went for the strip club before. Okay, let's sit tight. Manuel should be here soon. Okay. Oh, well, there's Victor. Fuck the Colombian, we gotta get out of here. Okay, there's a canal to return to the church. I feel like we could take him, you know what I mean? Pull it up, blow up his uh, vehicle, finish him off if we need to. I feel like so far the missions have been a little bit um, underwhelming today. Obviously, not including the West Side Rollers one, in which we lost a lieutenant and also took care of one of theirs. Um, oh bloody hell, I'm actually close to uh, blowing up here. I may have to bail on this. No, 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 Okay, oh my god. What the hell? Right, Dex, get in. Jesus Christ, okay. Pardon me for breathing is quite literally the term I'm going to have to use here, isn't it? And this is a little bit underwhelming. Nothing is really going on today, and I just nearly went up in a ball of bloody flames. We're gonna have to bail again, aren't we? Oh, oh no no no! I'm dead. Well, that was ridiculous. Okay, well, this time has been a lot smoother. Not perfectly smooth, as you saw at the end there, but. Through there. That's seriously gonna be it. Ghost location, run away. That's it. Or oh, is uh, Victor gonna turn up at the church and just be like, yeah, I cut you off, I knew you who you were. You're in that car, that's purple, of course you say it. <laughs> I don't know. Are you mad? Nice driving. You saved our ass. That was literally the mission. Drive to a location, come back from location. Wow. Okay, well, I was hoping that it would like be saying like, oh, this is an underwhelming mission, and then it'd be like, oh wait, no, we actually took care of Victor, which just leaves Angelo as like the sole lieutenant of, um, well, he's the leader now, I suppose, but the main figure within the Canalis. Not including Luz. I don't think we're going to be going after Luz. In fact, I know we're not going to be going after Luz, because I know she's still alive by the second game. Um, and just seems to be wanting to make a deal with Orihuela. So, yeah. Anywho, we have done everything I set out to do today. However, we do have this pushback to deal with, so I think I will head down there. Okay, well, we're in Stoughton, but it seems only there are three guys around. Is that seriously it? Oh. Why did only these three show up? I don't understand. I'm confused. I'm confusion. Why can I no longer get... I'm in the third... Okay. This is weird. I don't know why only those three showed up on my map. So I was like, okay, this is going to be like the world's quickest pushback. But... It's not. Okay. Where are you going? No, 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 I've died enough times today, thank you. Have you got to hide in awkward positions? Oh, I get mixed up 
<laughs> okay, unfortunately all the rest of them we can't find. That would have been fun if we could just shoot them all from the actual from the other docks. Okay, Saints, please do your thing. Let's clear these guys out. Need another vehicle. Why are you driving off? What, are you seriously going after the ambulance? This ambulance has slighted me, good sir. And I shall not allow it. Stop you. Oh, I said stop. Alright. Just five more fools left. Boom. All right. Lovely. Okay. I think that's us done for today, guys. Thank the maker. All right, first of all, let's save the game. So we don't have any accidents. We've gone from 55% to 63%. So a little bit over the 4% jump, I should think. Um, obviously, we've done two episodes worth. So that would be 5, 6, 7, 8%. So that's about the equivalent of uh, two episodes worth. So fairly happy with that. Let's have a look at our activities. So we have done the escort in uh, the Wardle Airport, and we have picked up the first two, no, sorry, the first four vehicles for the downtown chop shop. So that is fantastic. And I have also paid off the, the loan, so that's no longer an issue. In terms of statistics, um, let's see. So we are now at 19 of 29 activities, 21 out of 36 missions. Um, 20 CDs. I think that's about all uh, she wrote. So I think we'll leave it there. Alright guys, that's what we're going to end for today. So yeah, obviously with the increased episode length, we did manage to get a lot done though. We targeted all the gangs in some way today. Um, obviously the rollers one was pretty significant because we've lost Lin, but we've also taken out Sha. Um, and also we... Uh, taken the territory from the Vice Kings and from the Carnalis. Um Well, no, actually, we didn't take a, ter a territory from the Carnalis, did we? We just uh, had to meet with Orihuela, but we didn't. And then we had to find ourselves with Victor, but we didn't. It was just one of those weird missions. I'm not quite sure what was going on with that, but it is what it is. I think next time we're finishing off the Chop Shop, we'll have two more sets of those. We'll end up picking up more CDs. I think we're doing two activities next time if we do keep up with the two episode thing. So we'll be finishing up another snatch and then we'll also be taking on the last drug trafficking. And now I realise as I'm saying that how painful that experience is going to be. Um, and in terms of other activities, we are going to be picking up the Stronghold Wheel not for the Carnalis just then. And have some more missions for the Vice Kings and possibly another mission for the Carnalis as well. But we're going to be laying off the rolls for a little bit because we are ahead in terms of their gang compared to the other two, so I want to make sure that we're all caught up with them. Before I pull let me take a second to thank my amazing patrons. My 5 pen patron is Ron Hyler. You can find links to his channel as well as my other 3 pen patrons in the description down below. And I'm just going to secret to my 1 pen patrons. Thank you so much everyone. This is truly appreciated and it goes a long way to top the channel, so I do thank you a lot for that. And if you're looking for a patron, you can follow the link in the description down below. We don't have to do that because at the end of the day, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, be sure to like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.